distance with Carlos Rios in a tune-up bout prior to this one. And now there's every chance he might go the distance with Justin Juco. You know, there's, there's absolutely nothing. Juco is hurt by that right hand. Just as I said, it might go the distance, of course. Floyd hammers Juco with two right hands. And Mitch Halpern counts. And Juco doesn't look like he wants to go on. That's it, that's it, that's it. He doesn't know where he is. It happens like that, right? So once again. Yeah, such a short fighter like Mayweather, when you're that short, you're trained to throw short punches, and he's trained to defend against short punches, not wild looping punches. So the wild looping punches usually are off rhythm for him. First knockdown of the fight comes on a straight right hand. Right into the mouth of Mitchell. Well, do you think that Mayweather has the power to impose himself on a real strong welterweight? Yes, he Second does. Second knockdown. This time, the knockdown is on a body shot. We've seen a lot of knockouts on body shots in recent years. The good part is, in do, in do is a puncher, so he can get back in the fight with one punch. That's it. I don't think Floyd's yeah, worried about his punches anymore. That's it. Looked like three or four straight right hands. Nick Durant is going to throw in the towel. Great. Nick Durant is showing Endo the towel, and Endo saying, no, don't throw it in. Endo is shaking his head at Durant, saying, no, no, don't throw the towel in. And now the referee does it for him. Terrific fight. Terrific performance. By Floyd Mayweather. But Wait, you know, the vulnerability of guys who haven't fought much is that they wear in the er, in the later rounds. This one's scheduled for oh. six. Down goes Keeper. Quick, Three, straight, four. right hand punch. Keeper now fiddling with the nose as he tries to get the blood flow to stop. And Mayweather comes back with rights, and Gieper to go down, and That's it. Joe Cortez says that'll do. One minute, 28 seconds sorry, sorry, of the sorry, sorry. first round, or about a minute and a half. Let me tell you. Not that anyone would know if it was right or wrong. <laughs> Just past the midway point of round one. <laughs> Mayweather is not using his jab, I don't think, as much as uh, they would like him to. If they were to take a peek at this tape, they would, they would like to see that jab going out there more. Well, he told us yesterday he did not want to slug. He wanted to box. And oh! Hurt by that exchange. Three, four. Mayweather will not celebrate his 20th birthday until February the 24th. You look at some of the numbers in round number one. Mayweather, oh, there goes Akadaka, making making those numbers probably academic. And I do not think he's getting up, and he is. Not, this one has been stopped in round number two. So Mayweather beats Morrell by a round. Responds with the left jab of his own. Well, you can really see the determination in Mayweather's eye. Oh, he snuck in a left, and down goes Ayala. Well, interesting event there because Ayala, because he really hasn't been challenged in this fight. Big left by Mayweather, and down goes Ayala, and referee Chuck Haslett's going to put an end to this one. The streak just came out of Victor Ortiz. Oh! Oh! He knocked it down! Oh. Unbelievable! Oh. What happened there? He stepped on his foot! The referee, when he got to the right hand. Did the referee say box? He didn't say box. Yes! He's gone. He's done. He's done. Woo. Let's take a look at this replay. The boy, Mayweather Jr., now 42 and 0. 26 feet to our right back. And once again, dead level with his. Welsh compatriot, Joe Calzaki, who's 44 and done. He's been stride for stride for oh, years. A check what left, a left hook. hook. A check left hook went what right into it. He never saw it. What a perfect shot. Six, a left hook by Mayweather, seven, and eight. that tells you everything you know. And he is not shaking. Every situation for Hatton. Is over. Floyd Mayweather has a knockout victory over Ricky Hatton. Mayweather dealt 
with a situation he's never, or, or a fighter he's never been confronted with before. Fighters like Sugar Ray Robinson. Oh. Well, there's a brilliant start to round seven. I often say it, if you want to be a good fighter, forget about the left jab. If you want to be a great fighter, that's the best punch in boxing. Corrales has not used the jab all night. And the second knockdown of the round for Mayweather. And the accumulated oh. punishment. There are 20 seconds left in the round. <laughs> and there's the third knockdown of the oh. round. You can't, you gotta throw punches if you're gonna walk forward. Just throw, just let the jab just fly out. Even if you miss him, just throw it. Another little left hook. Didn't even seem like that big a punch. Corrales is like. It's like playing with a cobra. You can be in control, but one, all he takes is one or two good shots. Right hand, another knockdown. Fifth knockdown of the fight. Three, Fifth knockdown of Corrales' four, career. Five, another mark of what a performance it's been. Ray Woods is up on the apron. That's going to be the end of the fight. What? Is she a fighter today? He says, no. No, when she plays cards, she gets everybody over. She's playing cards, she talks to her. So. Somebody tells you from that family, Mama Mayweather can also box. You're right. She can handle herself. She can handle her force. Oh, and Floyd Mayweather handles Felipe Garcia. He finally cracks through. And Felipe having difficulty getting up very rarely in this position. And this fight is stopped.